what we're talking about today is something I was kind of amazed I haven't talked about before which is the copy delete and move methods of the file class and the demo of these I have two constant strings a from directory which is c colon slash fc from and a to directory which is c colon slash fc2 and these are represented in these two uh, Windows Explorer windows up here and then I'm using code that we've covered before in uh, previous videos namely directory info and file info where I'm doing uh, directory info and instantiate it on the from dir string and then I'm doing a uh, array of file info which is gotten from the directory info object get files so this is basically getting file info information for all the files in this uh, FC from directory and then I highly recommend at this point you put the uh, file.copy inside a try because if you have a file.copy of the from and the two files and the file already exists in the to directory you're gonna get an exception that just bombs the application out so we have the try catch blocks and the exception EX and then I just pop up a message box with the uh, exception if the file already exists so if I put a breakpoint in this code uh, and then we run it and say I move the button in between these two window explorer windows and then I press file copy and we hit this point you see I have the curve file dot full name which gives us the fully qualified uh, from directory and file name since we're going through each of the curve files in the for each loop and then I have the to directory string concatenated with the curve file dot short name so that'll give us the fully qualified to name so the file copy will go from the from file to the to file both fully qualified and if I st step through this say using uh, F10 so we can see the files up here you see this file got copied from here to here without any problem since it didn't already exist and I come down and remove the breakpoint uh, and then uh, just press F5 to continue running the program you see it copied the other two files over as well but if we run this again see we get a message box that the file already exists so it basically does nothing but doesn't bomb out because we're in the catch block and the same thing with the other two files a way you can get around this is you could uh, comment out the message box and then uncomment out the file dot delete to delete the uh, to define file and then just execute the same command again with the from and the to file and since the delete would have gotten rid of the uh, to file this copy would now work and another way you could do this is you could uh, add a third parameter to the copy of uh, true and you'll notice in the description here of the overload with three parameters the bool uh, true is an overwrite which basically says if this says it's true overwrite it if it already exists so those are the two techniques you could use to copy over if you don't want to just leave it there if it if it depends on what you want to do if you want to not overwrite it you want to pop up the message box but if you do want to overwrite it you could use one of these two techniques well, the last thing I wanted to show was the uh, file move and the file move will also get an error if uh, the file already exists so why don't we uh, save the move 
and then get rid of the two files. And run this with the move instead of the copy. And you see the files disappeared from this directory and appeared in this directory. So it works just the way you'd think. A move moves the files and a copy copies the files. So you use a copy, you'll have two copies. And if you use a move, you'll just have one copy in a different place. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned a lot. <clears throat> and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.